I'm, I'm here with Rene. He's like, mate, you probably make some joy against Rene. How are you? No problem, mate. Are you doing this time in Geneva? Uh, it is. It's my first time in uh, New Zealand. Really? Okay, so um, what do you know about the Grand Bay Sin in New Zealand? The heroes that come from New Zealand, they conquer God and save the mind. So okay. please, yeah. they're all yeah. great producers, so that's all I know. And I know it's big here. Was there sort of anything about the New Zealand sound of Grand Bay Sin that you want to work with TV producers? Um, I think generally people from New Zealand producers are very melodic. Style. Now, I don't like drum and bass that has only drums and only bass, where it just rolls on and you don't hear anything going on top. And State of Mind and Concord Dawn are always big on melody, building it up. That's what I like. You're touring a new album. How would you sort of describe what fans can expect from that? Well, it's still part of the tour. Is still, um, but we didn't really do a proper tour after the last album, Cruel and Unusual. So uh, it's part in that, and it's also anticipating the uh, third album. Which is going to be varied artists, so like every artist that we enjoy listening to or play in the record, so that we're going to put out something about it. And just it's remixes and it's collaborations and it's original Do you enjoy that sort of aspect of the drum bass world? Are you sort of free to just make a choose who you can collaborate with? Yeah, yeah, I do enjoy that. Yeah, I hate it when people are uh, signed to a label and they're just stuck there and stuck in one place. I just love that everyone can have releases on anything and you can just move about from label to label or you can just build your own label like we do. And collaborations are really nice to do, either with people staying over in our place, us staying over at their place, or just doing it online. That also happens, and it's, it's always really nice. It's nice when the styles collab, uh, clash a bit, or it's nice when they work together a bit, so it's always Speak, cool. Speaking of people that have stayed on your, at your house, I've heard you've had, is it, was it Matt from Concord? Yeah, yeah, Matt, you, yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, 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 a couple of times, he's a funny guy. How, yeah, how, was, how was that? He, he's a bit of a joker, right? Yeah. He did very much. Uh, he's a cool guy, he's always welcome in our place. Yeah. yeah. So what what sort of um did he sort of play any jokes on you guys while he was there? Like any examples of his Nah, like, not really. He just yeah. mentioned clogging the toilet a lot. <laughs> yeah. Every time I went to the bathroom, he's like, I'm gonna clog it. <laughs> and he said he's a joker. Yeah. yeah. And he loves the the frigandel, which is like a Dutch delicacy. Yeah. Well it's not delicacy because it's like animal byproducts. So but it's a it's a snack and he really loves it. And he, every time he's on the street. Go get fruit, pick it down. Yeah, it's each their own, I guess. Anyway, I'll, yeah. early musical experiences, like, were you, what sort of music were you listening to when you, before drum and bass, was it? Um, that? Well, um, I started listening to electronic music um, when The Prodigy were big, stuff like that. Then Underworld came along, I was listening to a lot of techno stuff, trance and stuff, uh, breaky stuff, breaky was the biggest, like Chemical Brothers are my, my favorite, uh, Prodigy. Uh, so all that, and then the orb came along, and like Emmy and music, I like that as well. And then it just kind of progressed, and then Brother Bass came along, and I was like, right, this is the style, this is what I want to make. So then I, I just haven't made anything else since then. It's all Brother Bass. Has any of that sort of early listening sort of crept into your sound? It has, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's a lot of other kind of style. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, I never, um, I guess a lot of people grow up on Brother Bass have a different perspective because um, all they focus on is bass and beat. And we just generally hear the music, because in Holland a lot of times we hear dance music on the radio, and what we notice more than the drums and the bass is the melodies and everything that goes on, the, you know, the energy that's that like built up. So that's, that's really what we've got us into it, and that's what we still do with the drum and bass. Thank you. Well, Joe, good day. All right, thank you. And we'll see you, and we'll see you guys down in the front of us, and we'll see you on the door.